Pastor Benny's faith-inspiring messages on the healing nature of Jesus, along with powerful worship, created an atmosphere of expectation, and mighty miracles took place in every service. As you experience a small part of the Rotterdam Crusade on today's program, release your faith and expect your miracle. Pastor, this dear lady for 10 years has been suffering with arthritis. 10 years arthritis. She was facing a left knee replacement. And her linker knee was to vervangen worden. But tonight the power of God came upon her. Maar vannacht is de vanavond is de kracht van God op de gekomen. She has no problems with her knee at all. Geen probleem met de knie. Would you bend, please? Show it. Buig hem eens. Buig eens. She could not do that at all. Dat kon ze helemaal niet doen. And I'm like, and I'm like you. En ik ben net als jij. I love these wonderful people in Holland. Ik hou van die mensen in Nederland. Because I looked at her and I said. No pain. Ik zei tegen haar geen pijn. And she looked at me like it's new. En ze keek naar me aan en zei ja, dat is iets nieuws. God gave her a new knee tonight. God heeft haar een nieuwe knie gegeven vanavond. And she looked at me like the expression on her face sort of said. En de uitdrukking op de gezicht zei. Of course I have no pain. Natuurlijk heb ik geen. Natuurlijk heb ik geen pijn. Ik heb een nieuwe knie. Move your legs up down. Dus op en neer. Look at that. Are you with your, your daughter, son-in-law? Yes. You speak English? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Oh. What a beautiful face she has. Wat heeft ze een prachtig gezicht, hè? Like an angel. Amen. Als een engel. Oh. <laughs> no pain whatsoever? Geen pijn, helemaal geen pijn? No, I have uh, uh, perhaps my, my, uh, my leeftijd. My age. Is, zal het, uh, Or age. Yeah. Huh? In het Nederlands. Nou, ik ben uh, 80 jaar. I'm 80 years old. En, uh, is mijn lopen misschien minder geworden maybe toen not. ik één keer van de trap ben gevallen. I fell down the stairs once, so maybe en I uh, daarna ben ik nog eens een keertje in het ziekenhuis terechtgekomen. I've been in the hospital once. Met een, uh, een uh, hersenbloeding. Uh, maar ik with heb a, een levende heiland. With a stroke, but I have a living en daar savior. is mijn hoop op gevestigd. En daarom ben ik hier. And that's why I'm here. En ik uh, wil alleen maar de Heer groot maken. And I want to glorify the Lord. De Heer, de <laughs> and I want to give Him the glory. Oh, Come on, give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Jesus, precious Jesus, precious Jesus, precious Jesus. Don't be afraid, darling. Don't be afraid. Baby. Wees niet bang, mevrouw. Then sings my soul. My Savior God truly How great my Jesus How great my Lord Bless your heart Thank the Lord for you God oh, bless you Hallelujah Thank you, love you What happened there? What is he doing? Hey, this boy. Yeah. This boy's been deaf from birth. This boy is deaf from his birth. And he was unable to hear. And he could not hear. And he told his mom tonight. And he said to his mother tonight. Don't say I'm sick. Zeg niet dat ik ziek ben. Jesus is going to heal me. Jezus geneest me. He took his hearing aids off. Hij heeft zijn oorapparaat uitgenomen. And God opened up his ears tonight. He can hear. Look at his face. Look at his face. Kijk naar zijn gezicht. Come here, come here, come here, baby, come here. He told his mother what? Yes, Pastor Benningham. Um, my son has liver problems and heart, dis heart problems. I am from Aruba and I had to come here because the doctors told me this is the best place to be uh, for, for his liver and heart. And he couldn't grow and develop as a normal child. He, can, he couldn't speak, Heart and leven he, problemen. he couldn't uh, talk, he couldn't deliver, he I couldn't hear, praten, he I couldn't see. Hoor, and see. yesterday he told me, mom, don't ever try to say, to tell people I am sick, because I am not sick. And, and the doctors tells me 
always I go to the hospital, listen, ma'am, your son is not going to live. He is going to live till 30 years. And I was in Miami Children's Hospital and they gave him three months to live. But my mother, she is there, she is from Colombia and she prays and she told me every day, Sharon, your son is going to live. <laughs> yes. And, and, you, and was he deaf also? Yes. Yes, he told me now, Mom, I don't need it anymore. I don't want to wear my glasses. And, I and was... his hearing aids right Yes, there? yes. Look, he's got his hearing aids. Yes. His glasses. He's got his hearing aids and his bril. What's his name? Seth. Huh? And he has to be operated. Seth is his name? Yes. Come here, Seth. Come here. I hate Seth. Er staat een operatie gepland. Can he speak? Kan hij praten? Uh, no better because we went to special uh, doctors so that he can learn to speak. My second home was the hospital and I don't want that anymore and he is very my, he is very tired. My of was a, a Can sickness. you hear me? Yeah. Can you see clearly? Can you good see? Yeah. Can you see now? Can you good see? Huh? Can you good kijken nu? Yeah. But you can hear me now? You can hear me, both of you. Shut my mic, shut my mic. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Come on, give the Lord Almighty. Come on, Christ to him. He was deaf from birth. I was from the board of those. Stand up and give Jesus a big shout of hallelujah. Towards him, stick your hand on him out and say, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, heal him completely. Heal him completely. We, the church, we, the church. rebuke this sickness in the name of Jesus. This little boy will not die, but will live. And show the glory of God. 